A violent Monday in the city of Cincinnati. Three shootings in just a few hours. The first, that shooting on Short Vine we just told you about. Another on Redding Road, the third on the west side. Anytime we have shootings, that's concerning to us. Uh, we know we are moving into our seasonal spikes. Typically, as we move into May, that becomes uh, the most challenging time of year around violent crimes. But police are ready to respond. Chief Elliot Isaac says he's been in discussions with district commanders. And overall, violent crime is down. Last year, the greatest decrease we've seen in a decade. We are a, a, a few a shootings up this year. But if you look at over the last three years, even over the last five years, we're still significantly down uh, in, in violent crime and shootings that we've seen. Due in part to technology like ShotSpotter in Avondale. Police say they've received a positive response from the community and have seen a noticeable reduction in gun violence. We continue to, to be very strategic in what we do. We're focused in the way that we deploy our officers. We use technology when we can and most importantly, partnerships. Partnerships with federal agencies, other local law enforcement, and communities. Isaac says protecting the public is priority number one. And while a lot has been accomplished, more work needs to be done. We make no secret about that. If you're, if you're committing violent crime, we're going to do everything we can to put you in jail. And Chief Isaac asked that anyone who may have information about a violent crime call Crime Stoppers. He says community relationships are very important to getting those guns off the street. Molly Lair, WLWT News 5.